Hello all. I hope everyone is enjoying this lovely Memorial Day weekend. This is a different type of video from me, the Ultimate Motivational Mama. This is going to be an update video. I just want to let you know what I'm working on uh, currently. Uh, I have a few projects that are going on. And first, I just want to remind you all to like uh, this video and my other videos as well. And I would like for you to subscribe to my channel, The Ultimate Motivational Mama on YouTube. It's very important for you to subscribe so that you can get updates and you can be alerted when I upload my new videos. I promise you I have tons of more goodies that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to be featuring more information for business startups, business ideas, business tips. As any of you that may uh, have been following me know, I have ran a successful children's party entertainment company for over 10 years. Um, I'm now rebranding and I launched my new blog, the ultimate motivational mama.com. And I would like for you to subscribe to the blog as well. When you subscribe to the blog, you will receive my monthly newsletter. My newsletter is a little different from the blog in the sense that I will be sharing with you more personal and intimate stories that aren't featured on my social media. They aren't featured here on this channel either. Uh, this channel is for a different type of thing. This channel is for me to share with you stories on my motherhood, stories on my business experiences, my highs and my lows of running a business, uh, my relationship stories. And it's similar to the blog, but each avenue that I have uh, gives you a different twist. I don't want you guys to all feel that you're hearing the same thing on all of my outlets. I wanna give you a little bit of a variety. So if you sign up for everything, you definitely won't miss out, okay? It's gonna be worth it because um, my life has been a ride, okay? A roller coaster ride, but it's been all worth it, um, okay? If you have been following me on social media, you are aware that I did win the seat on the uh, CEC, the Community Education Council for District 25 in Queens, New York City. So I'm happy for that. Uh, this is my first time ever running for an election seat and winning. I'm really excited about that opportunity to make a difference in the lives of children, families, outreach to the communities, and also work in collaboration with the school administrators and teachers in hopes to possibly introduce new uh, policies. My main stance has been the anti-bullying and also sensitivity for those with special needs. I feel that that should be taught early in the years of children. I feel like in pre-K, the schools need to start teaching uh, special needs awareness so that they can let these children know as they grow up that although someone may look different than you or they may talk different from you, they may walk different from you, they deserve the same type of respect that you would like to receive as well. And we have to start that from when the children are young because hate and discrimination is taught, okay? Just like love is taught. Love can be taught. And if we eliminate that early on, we will have nothing to deal with as they grow up as far as the bullying and the alienation and the other things that these poor children, you know, they experience. And it's not only for those with special needs. A lot of children that are just considered outcasts because they may like a different type of music or they may like to wear a different type of clothes or they just prefer a different type of uh, lifestyle than you. They're alienated and they're just felt uh, made to feel like they don't belong and I'm not happy with that. We are all here. We're all humans. We all bleed the same blood and we all need to learn how to love each other. Okay. Um, on to other things. I just want you to know that I want you to get ready to enjoy your summer. Spring is coming to an end. We had a lovely spring, but summer is here. Hello, summer. This is a Memorial Day weekend, so in New York City, the beaches are opening up. It's a little bit too cool to get into the water, but if you guys can get out to the beach, I hope that you can do that. I hope that I can get to the beach. That would be nice. Um, I'm trying to do something this weekend. The kids are home, and uh, we're going to do something. I'm just not sure what. It may just be to take a ride out to New York City, a walk on the seaport, 
but we're gonna do something. I may even try to do a little barbecue this weekend. It's gonna be very small with just my um, immediate family, but anything that you can do means something. I mean, even if you just wanna binge watch some movies on Netflix, eat some snacks, um, that's a good thing too. Just do, just do something to make yourself feel special and have some me time. Or, you know, if the other thing is for you to spend time with your family, we all know that quality time is important. You can do that as well. Okay, so this is just my little update just to say hello to you. Check in, you know, let me know in the comments below what are your plans for Memorial Day weekend? What are your vacation plans for the summer? Are you going uh, in an airplane? Are you traveling far away? Are you doing a Europe vacation? Are you going to Africa? I can't wait till I get the chance to go to Africa. I'm not going to go just now. I'm going to wait till my kids get a little older. Um, and I plan on traveling to Africa. My Carrie, uh, my daughter Carrington, she's actually not really allowed to travel far because she has a heart condition. The doctors did say we could try to, uh, we could try to take like a local flight, maybe to Florida or something like that. I don't even want to take a chance with that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get brave. I'm going to give her a little bit more time though. Um, I have a little bit of fear in that, but for now I'm not going to take, um, her on an airplane, but I do plan on, uh, my husband and I being able to travel to, um, different parts of the world. I feel like if I'm going to leave my children, you know, um, with a caretaker and, you know, do the thing as far as going on an airplane, um, I want this vacation to be worth it. We're not doing local. We're going to go far, far, far away. So, you know, even if you can't do a vacation that's far, staycations are good as well. Call in sick to work. I'm sorry, take a day off from work. I didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> take a day off from work, a vacation day. Go catch a movie by yourself or with your loved one. You know, go spend a day at the beach. Visit one of the lovely, lovely museums um, or attractions in your town and just have a nice staycation. Another thing I like to do with my kids, because we don't have the uh, access to a pool where we live, I like to just rent a local hotel room for maybe one or two nights and we could utilize their pool. Order into the room and we just veg out and that's our staycation and it's, it's away from home. It's a respite and it's fun. There's nothing wrong with having some good, clean fun. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed my update. As I said, share your plans with me, um, that you're going to be having for this upcoming summer. I hope it's some good stuff, guys. Let's get creative. It doesn't take a lot of money to have a good time. We're not about impressing the Joneses. We want to just do something that makes our soul happy. That's what's important. You are all you have, okay? In the end, you came in this world alone, you leave in this world alone. That's my motivation um, for you. Do something that makes your soul smile, all right? So until next time, enjoy your weekend. Have a great one. Blessed. And remember, we don't hate, we motivate. Keep living your ultimate life. Goodbye.